Hello again, my friends. Welcome to another edition of Rollin' Rambles, wherein I roll and I talk too much, thus the name Rollin' Rambles. Today I want to tell you about why I can't work a normal job anymore. Why I probably would never be allowed to work a normal job. And why I don't really want to, frankly. I don't want a normal job. Here's the thing about jobs. If you work for someone else, you are basically at their beck and call. You are, you, you live at their pleasure. You serve them. You do what they want you to do. And that's it. And I can't do that. I can't work a normal job. Because I don't like the fact that if you have a job, you have a boss. And usually you have a boss's boss. And you might even have a boss's boss's boss. There are all these hierarchies above you. And when those hierarchies of people above you make decisions that could affect you profoundly up to and including you losing your employment, your health insurance, take your pick. You know, there are a lot of decisions that these big corpo bosses can do uh, that will affect your life significantly, but to them, it's just numbers on a sheet. And what do you do if you lose that job? You go look for another one. You go find something else you can do for someone else, and you get right back into the same position. All right, everyone, let's get a good look at the psycho lady that wouldn't get off the back of my car. Here she comes. Come on, don't be shy. Hello, crazy lady. Hello, crazy lady.
you no doubt just experienced an effect known as a video transition. That's because people are crazy and I had to calm down a little bit, not pay attention to you, and pay attention to them instead. Stay tuned at the end for outtakes. Anyway, back to the discussion about me and why I can't work a normal job and why that's wonderful. The reason I can't work a normal job is because I've been my boss for too long, and if you have ever been your boss for years at a time, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When you are your own boss, people assume that you don't want to answer to other bosses. This is not entirely false. If you're used to calling the shots, then it makes sense that you wouldn't want someone else to be calling the shots instead. However, this doesn't mean that you can't hold down a normal job. In fact, people who have run their own businesses sometimes are uniquely qualified to hold a job. A normal, boring, depend on someone else, at the whim of someone else, basically someone else's wage slave job. Why is that? Because if you were a boss, especially if you employed other people, you probably understand how to employ other people, you understand how to manage other people, and you understand how to do the jobs of the people under you. You know what makes good management because your business probably survived by that. Of course, we can argue that your business probably didn't survive very well if you're applying for a normal job. Of course, you could have just decided that you were done with it and wanted to retire and do something a little bit less complicated. But anyway, I'm not here to make the case for why someone like me is uniquely qualified to have a normal job. I may, I'm here to make the case to, as to why someone like me pretty much can't work a normal job. I can't really do what average, normal, everyday people do. I don't understand driving an hour to work, <clears throat> listening to what other people tell you to do all day long, no matter how stupid it is, and you have to do it. Because I understand that one of the biggest problems with most modern corporations, most modern businesses, honestly, most modern systems, is inefficiency and really bad decision making. The problem is, just because someone is a manager doesn't mean that they're capable or qualified or uh, competent to actually do management. Management is not easy. Um, as someone who has had up to four or five people working under me before um, for years, it's pretty difficult to manage people. The problem is that you have to manage people. You can't just you can't just tell them what to do. You have to deal with their quirks, their personality. You know, the things that set them off, the things that bother them. You, you have to actually get to know them and understand them to be able to tell them what to do in a way that works for them. And that's the part that a lot of managers just don't understand. You can't deal with people as if they're this homogenous unit. A lot of huge corporations like Walmart are kind of like that. You know, if you, if you deal with people they're all just cogs in a machine. They're all replaceable workers. They don't matter because we're a big corporation. We get, you know, 50 job applicants walking into the store, punching their info into our job kiosks every single day. You know, there's no need for us to care. I can't do that. I can't be the target of that because I'm too used to living a life where I actually have full control of what happens to me. That doesn't mean that I'm in full control. Make no mistake, I'm still beholden to people, but it's a different kind. At a job, you have to deal with a manager and potentially management above them, but usually you have one or more managers that you have to answer to. In my field, in the kind of work that I do, I am the manager, but that means I answer to no one. No one really holds me accountable in the end but me. <clears throat> the only thing that really stops me from being a really terrible person is that nobody would work for me and nobody would give me money to do things for them if I was one. So 
that's a very different way of doing things than what you have at a conventional job. So I, I can't do a conventional job because that's not how that works. You don't really get to control things at that level. You basically do what you're told to do, and part of the problem is sometimes even what you're told to do isn't what they actually want you to do. See, jobs dance a really fine political line in a lot of cases. There's this interpersonal sort of communication thing that it doesn't work out very well sometimes. Um, sometimes people don't mean what they say. Sometimes people don't say what they mean. A far more common problem, to be perfectly honest. A lot of people are not careful in their choice of words. Um, if you don't believe me, uh, go to Reddit. Be sure to wash yourself afterwards, because it's Reddit. And look at the malicious compliance subreddit. You want to talk about people following orders to the point that it's vicious, there you go. And these subreddits are full of people that do jobs. And they do them to a fault because they have to make a point. Because the people that manage them are so brain dead, stupid, make dumb decisions, tell them to do stupid things, or they're just, you know, I've got big brass balls, I'm going to come in here and make a name for myself because I'm a new manager, we're going to do things differently because I run things now. You know, egos fly all over the place. I can't do that. I, I just can't. I could not work for someone for whom malicious compliance would even be a thing that I'd have to worry about, which means I'm better off working for no one. But, that doesn't mean that you actually work for no one. It means that instead of your boss being a boss, it is everybody that walks in that front door and that wants you to perform services for them. The customers are the boss. Now, in any given business, the customers are always the boss because by the end of it all, they're the ones giving you the money. They're the ones who want something from you in exchange for their money. They're the ones that make the demands to give you the money. So if you want the money, you have to do what they want. And this leads to all kinds of interesting scenarios. When you're the boss like me, the guy who runs the business, you don't really have to care because you can make a choice. Oh, you know what? I don't like this person's attitude, so I'm just going to tell them to kick rocks and leave. And what are they going to do? They're going to not kick rocks and leave? What, they think they can force the person who owns the business to do what they want? No, it won't happen. Of course, they could tell their friends not to come, and if they're badly behaved, that might be a good thing. But nonetheless, you see where this is going. There's a certain soul-crushing nature to working for other people. Especially in America, we have this problem where health insurance follows the employer rather than being something the employee buys on their own. This is not a thing that should exist, but it means that if you lose your job, you now have to pay potentially more than double what was being cut out of your paycheck for health insurance before to ensure that you continue to have health care which is a real shame, but it means when you lose your job, you have to pay more money. Um, and hopefully you can get to another employer and get on their health insurance plan fast enough that it doesn't severely negatively affect you. Employers also pick health insurance plans that are bad for the employees with the maximum of kickbacks. Just in general, that's the way it tends to work. Employers should not provide health insurance but here we are, and people complaining about paying $1,300 a month for health insurance for a family of four, that shouldn't be a thing because they shouldn't be forced into a health, uh, an employer's health insurance plan by the way things are, and yet that's the way things are. Um, you, you know, realistically, Realistically, in the United States, people really are basically wage slaves. There is, 
it, it's difficult to leave an employer. It's difficult to, you know, stay. If, you, if you're in one place, it's hard to escape it to another one because of the barriers with health insurance, with continuity of your pay. You know, if you start somewhere else, your paycheck cycle may be different. There's all these considerations. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Hmm. I don't know if this was the best topic. Hmm. Fuck. Probably not. So here's the deal. While filming this, I realized it's probably not the best topic. I don't have a lot to say on the subject. So I'm pretty much just gonna have to cut it off here. And I'd rather make this a Q&A. Why don't you drop a comment and tell me what you think? Tell me what you would like to know about why I can't be employed by a normal human being anymore. What it's like to run my own business. Any questions you have, drop them down below. I'll try to answer them. Maybe if you give me enough, I can make a future video and not be so poorly prepared. Sorry for wasting your time. Have a good one.